You know, I've actually been an addict for like 23 years, and it's been something that like I'm, I've just been really struggling with, and I haven't been able to fully just overcome it. But like when I feel an urge, I just get this like this guilt upon me, and I just feel like I can't contain myself, and I have to just indulge, and I just can't help it. This addiction has consumed my entire life, and I can't even perform as a normal human being at this point because it's just consumed me. It's just like it's already an unhealthy addiction to an unhealthy food, and I just like don't know how to like really get over it. In my lowest points, I've stashed them away in places that I didn't think people would find, and I just, I, I found myself at rock bottom, and I just didn't know where to go from there. Well, why don't you just make healthy cookies? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackson Jardins. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer. I've personally lost 80 plus pounds, almost 100 pounds guys, and I'm here to help you do the exact same thing. So first things first, if you are not subscribed, then I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification down at the bottom too, because then you'll get notified every time one of my videos go live. And I want to help you guys. I want to reach as many of you as possible, not only just accomplish your weight loss goals, but improve your life in every aspect and build your super self. So for the longest time, my mom's made what's called her healthy cookies. And though I am gonna be putting a little bit of a spin on it, they are still gonna be considered healthy. I'm just adding some protein powder in it. So I'm looking forward to making them with you. And I'm just here to tell you, who's to tell you that you can't have cookies and lose weight and be healthy and put on muscle? How many times has somebody brought in cookies to school or to work or whatever? And then since you're dieting, you're like, no, I can't have cookies. Cookies are bad. Right? And then since you didn't have that one cookie, now you go throughout your whole day thinking about those cookies and then you end up having 12 that night because you restricted yourself of the one. This is why I have the saying on my channel, eat the damn cookie. So we are headed to Walmart. I'm gonna pick up the ingredients that we need and then I'm heading over to Chloe's house. We're gonna get her brothers involved in the video. It's gonna be a good time. We've made it to Chloe's household. We're gonna throw around some Frisbee and get after it. Oh. Tart soft for the boys. You wanna go? Thank you. Oh, that's money. You see, the key here is we gotta earn our cookies around here. So we do a little something, something, we get a little something, something. In order to grow, you gotta eat, right? So in all seriousness, actually, guys, I just wanna make it drastically clear for you that like you can include any of the food that you want within your macronutrients and calories for the day. I only track protein and calories in total, but just know like if you wanna have a cookie, eat the damn cookie, it's okay. As long as we're hitting your calorie deficit and eating under your total daily energy expenditure, you're gonna lose weight, and if you wanna put on muscle, you're gonna to need to get in here anyway and eat enough protein and eat enough calories to be able to provide your body the energy that it needs to grow. <laughs> oh, Rowan, Rowan, do me a favor. What does that say right there, Rowan? 10,000 steps! Oh, oh, get it, get it. What is going on, everybody? It is time to cook my mother, Tracy D's, healthy protein cookies. You know on my channel I'm all about cookies, and if there's a way we can make them healthy, full of protein, and taste fantastic, then you know we're gonna do it. Now joining me in my cooking venture is gonna be my partner in crime, Chloe's younger brother, Rowan. Rowan, we're like 70% there, there's just one thing missing. So three, two, one, and oh yeah, much, much better. Us cookie eaters gotta stick together. <coughs> So diving right into this recipe, what you are going to need is, number one, get your hands on some Transparent Labs protein, best protein in the game, code Jackson in checkout. Save yourself some cheddar and also support your boy. I appreciate you. Second, you are going to need two bananas if we're gonna be making 12 servings of this. So two bananas, preferably relatively ripe like these. You're gonna need some chocolate chips. I just recommend that you get the lower calorie ones. So I've got Lily's dark chocolate baking chips right here. 
I got them at Food Lion. Walmart also has them. These things smack. Next, you are going to need PB2 powder. I know that this usually tastes like dumpster cardboard, but in this case, if it's in a recipe, I'm okay with it. But if I'm gonna be mixing it with water and putting it on bread, you can kick this out the window. And last but not least is the base to our concoction, which is going to be old fashioned oats. So Rowan, now that we have all the ingredients, it's time to rock and roll. All right, first things first, we are starting with our PB2. So we are getting two tablespoons of our, of our PB2 powder. It's a little more than one. I'm gonna get just about one right here. The next thing we are putting in our cookies are gonna be our vanilla protein powder. Doesn't really matter what flavor you do, I just chose vanilla because I prefer vanilla when it comes to this recipe. But since I have about two scoops left in here, I'd say give or take, we're gonna just pour the rest of it in. So Rowan, do me a favor. Yeah, that might be a little bit more than two scoops. <laughs> might be. We're gonna get our protein in, Rowan, that's for sure. Next, we're gonna get our old fashioned oats out of the way. So Rowan, pour me one cup. What do we got? Whoa, whoa, oh my we're goodness. making a mess. Keep it coming. That's probably right about there. Yeah, that's about a cup, there we go. All right, everybody, the next thing we are adding into our mixture is going to be our bananas. So in other words, this may be you, but this is the guy she's telling you not to worry about. So these are gonna go out the door and we are going to be using these bananas because they are not only more compatible, but they are much more ripe, which is going to add to the flavor of your cookies. After the bananas are in, with the protein powder especially, you're gonna notice that it's not really like turning very doughy. So after we get everything in, we're gonna add a little bit of water just to get everything mixing a little bit better, and then we're gonna add in our chocolate chips. Oh, I'm trying to make some protein cookies over here. Excited. It's gonna be very protein. Protein. Yep. Okay, our mixture is mixed. Now we are adding in our chocolate chips and it calls for two tablespoons of chocolate chips. But I like to live by one saying and one saying only, and that is full scent or no scent, right, Ron? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna add, yeah, a tablespoon here and there, maybe a little bit more, and then we're gonna put it in there. Right here. Ah, I guess that's two, okay. All right, everybody, now that we've got our mixture mixed, it's time to get this in the oven. So after you have plated 12 of them individually, you are going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, more specifically about 16 to 18 minutes if you want them at the perfect, perfect texture. Now we wait. So now that me and Lil Chef, also known as Rowan, have got our productivity out of the way, for the next 15 minutes, we're gonna do what we do best, what we were born to do. Get some. No, I don't get wanna some. get some. Get some. All right, time has come. It is officially cookie time. Let's do this. I highly recommend if you are going to be having these cookies, then you get yourself a glass of almond milk, preferably because it has 30 calories per entire cup, or skim milk 2%. Whatever floats your boat, whatever butters your biscuit. And each cookie is gonna be just over 100 calories, anywhere between 100 and 120, give or take. So, what are you gonna pick? <laughs> All right, I'm picking this one. This, 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 one, this one's been speaking to me. There we go. Final product right here. Oh, Maybe it's just slightly drier than I want it to be. We just with the milk. Oh, God. You won't. You won't, Rowan. You won't. You are crazy. You are crazy. So I hope that I was able to bring you some value in this video with my mother's decade-old healthy cookie recipe. And if you've made it to the end of the video, then I thank you so much. And if you are new here and you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe down below and, and hit that little bell notification so you can be notified every single time one of my videos go live. I'd love to have you a part of my family of amazing individuals on my channel who not only want to lose weight, but want to improve every other aspect of their life. So on that note, do enjoy your cookies. Highly recommend this recipe. And as always, let's keep getting better together. And keep on grinding. See you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, 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 o